Yep. We're on. Well, that's a good one. That's a better one. Unless it's a trevally again. Like yesterday. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm down here in Bem River today, so starting out the vlog from, a, I guess, a travel day for me. Um, made it down to Bem River. It's about six o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, so I was pretty lucky to get away from Melbourne around midday today. Uh, had a nice, easy trip. I'll do a bit of a walkthrough. Got the car out there and the trailer. Uh, beautiful little clean space. We've got a little house uh, for the four of us this weekend, so I've got myself Jordan Trusty, Ben Shuey, and Darcy Harding staying with us to the, uh, this weekend at the house. So really looking forward to seeing the boys. Um, it's been a, a long time since I've seen them all. So should be a great weekend. Um, very blowy outside. I'm just gonna walk out for a sec. See, see what you guys can see. <laughs> but I've um, got some trees, I guess, there behind me. Um, and there's, it's just pumping. That wind is pumping. I had a bit of a drive down to the ramp, had a look, um, a lot of weed. The water was very dirty. I actually expected it to be a tad cleaner, even knowing how much rain we've recently had. So it's gonna be gonna be an interesting morning for pre-fish, but i um, really excited about getting out on the water, um, exploring Bem again. It's gonna change so much, or has changed so much in the last two years since I've been here, especially for a comp. But yeah, got everything all set. Car went great today. I had the kayak trailer service, new bearings, so we're all good to go. Had a nice smooth trip down, uh, ran into a few of the boys along the way. So yeah, made for a fun little trip down, but very um, uneventful. So uh, no other footage than that. But yeah, here we are. And then uh, we'll cut to the next morning. Maybe we'll do a little bit of chit chat tonight um, as the boys come in and uh, do a bit of rigging. Might have a bit of a chat. Otherwise you guys will see me in the morning out on the water. All right. Stay tuned. All right, first one of the morning out here at BEM. I've just found a patch on the side imaging and uh, threw out the little Duro fire tail. Got a little hidden weight head. This little fella scoffed it. But you can just see the fish sitting on top and in the weed, all those little white patches. They're all fish. They're sitting in amongst this weed. I'm not too far from the ramp either. Just uh, scanning around, channels all the way down there towards the sun. But nice little golden fish to start with. Perfect. Been seen a lot of fish, but finally got number two on practice. Uh, just making my way down towards the mouth slowly, just drifting along. Lots of fish on active target on these flats in about one and a half up to two meters. And um, lots of fish in about, yeah, one and a half, 1.8. But I've, I've really just struggled to get them to eat anything. So I've uh, just been mixing up a few lures and that was just on a little hurricane paddle tail there. Um, but haven't taken a Z-Man for me, but I am getting closer to the mouth. So perhaps with a little bit more current, that's where they're gonna start to chew. That was a little bit sketchy with that fish drop. So apologies, but uh, I'm gonna keep going. All right. It's probably fish number four or five. Just fishing these dirty water lines, getting closer to the mouth again. And uh, yeah, nice fish, probably about six or 700 grams, I'd say. Yeah. Starting to get those better lips and better size about it. But uh, yeah, happy, happy with that little spot. Caught two in about 100 meters, and uh, yeah, keep moving. Real shallow water here. Down the front of the system. A lot of people around this That's two and two casts. Still pre-fishing down the front. It's about one o'clock, so kind of left it pretty late, but really just exploring this whole section. Tide's starting to run out and uh, starting to get up on the edges and pick up those prawns. So uh, I'm gonna get back into it. But nice fish. Just straighten myself up. Just running this MMD splash prawn. Not, not sure if I'm 
showing that to the camera correctly. I might show it a little bit later as well. Just got this outgoing tide. At the front section of BEM. And uh, had a couple of good, good fish come up and belt it. So I thought I'd try and put the camera on for you guys and see if we can get a couple on film. There's a couple, there's boil. There's a real kind of mix of classes underneath the popper or underneath the surface walker. There's some better fish and then there's some little ones belting it. So just gotta kind of weed through and hope that better fish comes in and charges the, the little prawn. Yeah, nothing too big there, thankfully. Otherwise it could have been in all sorts. Oh yeah, oh, that one just grabbed it right away. Pretty much as soon as it landed. Oh. Yes, got him. Got him that time. Oh, that's a better fish. Little one with him. Nice, chunky little fish. Good fun. This is, even though it's getting late and I should go and explore some other stuff, I don't get to do this very often, so I'm just really enjoying the surface. I was, um, I flicked out at them. They were looking. There's one. Oh, he's found it. Uh, not gigantic, but big pun. <laughs> That's right. He's all right. Bit of fun. Just a slightly better hookup rate <laughs> than surface. Continuing my pre-fish. Thought I uh, had a good, good brim on, but uh, <laughs> not to be. Got a nice big perch on a Z-Man grub. And uh, actually that's all the fish stacked up in the tree, so it's probably a big school of perch sitting in there in those limbs, but might have another cast and see if there's a brim with them. Trusty back in the comps, Clarky, Crozza. I think we've got 94 and 95 competitors this morning over at Bem River. So, uh, should be good. It's very shallow. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but super shallow, so we're gonna have to punch through this with the pedal drives uh, to get out to some deeper water and then we'll, we'll be off properly to our, my first spot. I'm gonna start in the lake, um, just fishing deep with plastics and uh, see how we go. <sighs> yeah, normally this is like frantic. <laughs> this part is like chaotic. Very.
<laughs> we'll slow down for you, Crosser, we'll just ease you back into it. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, sorry for lack of video, but uh, just been fishing this morning. It's maybe on nine o'clock, and I've just done an upgrade 470 for a 570. So I've got three fish, and number two is the 570 that I've got to upgrade now. Let's get stuck into them. Right, day one uh, is all over. Just getting ready for day two, packing everything up, making sure the morning's nice and smooth. But uh, oh my God, for tomorrow, it's hurricane plastics, jackal vibe, EK vibe, Z Man, Z Man's. Uh, finished day one in about 18th place. I haven't seen the results kind of finalised, but. We were one of the last ones to weigh in, so I weighed in 2.35 kilograms for my three fish. Um, all the boys in the house caught their three, and I think we're all kind of within striking distance. Uh, if we all have a good day tomorrow, I think we can really you know, make a good run at that top five finish. So um, apologies, didn't fish, uh, didn't get to film much today. Uh, I really try to concentrate on, on fishing and, and catching those brim. But um, yeah, hopefully we get some more footage tomorrow for you guys, and we can make a run at that top three or, or the win. All right, see you guys in the morning. <clears throat> Starting off day two, I'm down near the entrance to the channel. Thought I'll try and film a little bit this morning because it's a pretty nice morning, and hopefully, we get a few fish for you first up, which would be nice. Make a cast on this side. big oh, it's probably legal but I don't really want to measure him to be honest I think we can do better than that There's a bit of weight and then I don't know if he's coming towards me. Yeah, it should be legal. Yeah. yeah he's okay for a start. I'll take him right now, but a lot better than that to make a dent in this uh, deficit so that was on the little paddle tail I'll uh, get my scales ready actually I'll show you guys the whole process so I'm getting my coal tags out so I've got three tags and some scales for the day and my scales so, make a mark as well, I can see fish, so red indicates fish that I've caught and green is fish that I've seen. I weigh my net and then clear the scales, so 320 grams this net weighs. Um, I forgot to clear the day's catch from yesterday but that's okay, I'll uh, replace the numbers this morning as we proceed and I'll put him in and 
than that. Uh, 470 grams. is our weight of this fish. Then I'll put a, a coal tag in him and put him in the live well. Uh, one more cast this side with the paddle, uh, with the motor oil, and then I'll switch back to the more natural color. Yep, we're on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a better one. Unless it's a trevally again, like yesterday. cast that out and he grabbed it on the drop or as soon as it landed. I've got to chase this thing a little bit. It's coming up high so it makes me think it's a brim. They tend to do this from time to time. Better brim. But I had a Trevally do something similar to me yesterday. I don't know just yet whether this is brimmy or trevally. It does feel quite brimmy though. It's on six pound litre. Just with these bigger plastics, they tend to scoff them down sometimes. And I've had brim bite me off. So the water's quite dirty and uh, I don't feel like I need to go to three or four pound as frequently in this dirty water. Let's see what we've got here. Come on. It's a brim. I don't know if he's that big. He might have been foul hooked, perhaps. Yeah, he has been foul hooked a little bit. He's still a good fish, but uh, really just scrapped hard for what he is. It's a nice brim, but He's not like a kilo or anything. Let's get him up. Up you come. Oh yeah, he's on the, in the fin, that's why. That's why he went like that. There he is, he's just in the cheek actually. But uh, yeah, nice fish, better than the first one. All right, that was a good one. That was another 750 grammer. That, uh, that was kind of my average yesterday. So, um, they're good, they're good solid fish, and then I'm just gonna need like a, a good kicker after that. If I can uh, get three like that, then I'll start looking for that kilo 1.2 fish if I can. That would be amazing. Let's fill out our limit 737. I guess. <clears throat> I'm in 1.2 and just casting out into the little drop off. Fish now under me, around me. Seem big this morning. That seems a bit, a bit 
get on this wall side. Marked up some fish, did a little, uh, bloody, did a little cheeky sideways cast. But it was a good tick. It was a brim, but not to be. It's okay. It's bloody out and uh, have another cast. Alrighty, guys, we're back at the launch site. Apologies for the wind noise in the background, but uh, give you a quick look at my three for the day. Just waiting to weigh in big queue of cars or of anglers to weigh in so I'm just packing up the kayak get in the car ready and then uh, I'll go and line up weigh these in um, so I had 2.35 or something like that yesterday and which had me in 18th place um, don't know I might be able to make a little jump up it wasn't an easy day um, hopefully I got a little bit of footage from the morning and then I really just tried to knuckle down so apologies for the lack of kind of fishing action throughout the day um, ended up getting a lot of fish on a lightly weighted Hurricane uh, Sprat 75. Um, I found the fish was suspended on active target, so big shout out to, to Ben Shilly for recommending that I switch from scout to forward. That made a really big difference even in the shallow water. So really, I was actually really excited about playing with that technology. The forward facing sonar was just a lot of fun seeing those fish react. Um, yeah, had a great time. Really windy now, so it was, uh, you know, a bit of a last minute dash to get back and put our key tag on on the board just in time for two o'clock but had a really fun tournament i'll go and weigh in and let you guys know how i go cheers all right back at the house now darcy and i are just packing up um finished in 16th i think apologies for the for the construction noise in the back but um yeah tough tough tournament on the whole um lots of fish today but just couldn't find those kickers. Huge congratulations to Dylan Pace on taking out the win. Uh, great effort, and to Crozza, uh, fantastic work on coming second, really close. And you know, it was great to see a lot of the old boys back. Crozza, Clarkie, Geordie, um, had a ball this weekend. Hopefully we get some decent footage out of this comp. And uh, yeah, time to hit the road about five hours back to Melbourne, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.